Well, sometimes a failure becomes an opportunity. That's what happened when a man in Powell messed up a furniture project he was working on. Yeah, Emily Stroud shows us the result called shipwreck. The furniture and frames painted in a certain way take on an unusual hue and texture. You look at it and when you touch it, it feels exactly like you would think it would, like, like a coral reef or something that you just pulled up out of the ocean. It's got that like rough, but I don't know, smooth texture. It's definitely unique, very much unique. Color schemes will kind of blend in together but nothing will look the exact same. This painting technique evolved from a mistake Aaron Jones made while distressing furniture. Cindy Rowe helped him come up with a name, Shipwrecked. I have a love of Pirates of the Caribbean. My mom and I, it's always been our thing. And so he kind of hopped on board with that. He's like, that looks like something off the Flying Dutchman. So here we are. I don't really consider myself an artist, more of a, a designer. I, I, I like to make stuff and I'm not really good at the, the normal stuff. You know, it's more imaginative kind of things. It's a multi-step process so unusual that Aaron and Cindy are going through the detailed process of securing a patent. To protect the secret, he'll only show us one of the steps in the layering process that is labor intensive and time consuming. The next stages after we get beyond two and three stages, it takes me a week. The former musicians work on their art at their home in Powell. Aaron focuses on the creative side while Cindy runs their Etsy shop and social media. They started in January and are slowly building a following. Shipwreck is constantly evolving. We want something new as much as we can. We try to come up with something new every day. Something new that looks old and, well, shipwrecked. The coral reef with a gilded effect to it. <laughs> he just finished this vanity for her. I'm just absolutely in love with it. It's really pretty blues and silvers. Cindy's vanity is not for sale, but shipwrecked items are available at their Etsy shop online, and you can even have something you already own customized, as if you discovered it at the bottom of the ocean. I'm Emily Stroud, live at 5 at 4.